The publication of A Nation at Risk in 1983 focused national attention on the need to improve public education. At the same time, our state's economy was changing rapidly as traditional sectors like textiles, manufacturing, small farming, and tobacco were being replaced by new jobs and new industries. The state's education policy arena was also changing. There was a lack of communication with some of the critical critical groups that, that needed to talk about how to make North Carolina schools the best in the country. In response, some of North Carolina's legislative, business, and education leaders came together. They understood North Carolina's rich tradition of public-private partnerships and believed a new permanent organization was needed to carry the banner for public schools over the long haul. If you could bring the different players into the room talking on a common agenda, that it could make a big difference. You know, having teachers talking to business people, to policy makers, uh, to administrators, and basically having a place where that could all occur uh, without people pursuing individual agendas uh, was going to be a great way to make uh, good things happen. That belief was the start of the Public School Forum of North Carolina. The original group envisioned the forum primarily as a think tank that would generate ideas for school improvement and build the will to turn those ideas into reality. If we were going to succeed as businesses, the only way we're going to succeed is to have well-educated students coming out of the public schools. The forum evolved into a think and do tank that has generated ideas and launched initiatives that have improved education in North Carolina. Some of these initiatives include the NC Teaching Fellows Program, the Education Policy Fellowship Program, the Institute for Educational Policy Makers, the Center for After School Programs, the Local School Finance Report and Roadmap of Need. 10 international study trips, and 16, and counting, biannual study groups. One of the great things about the Public School Forum is that it, it has never engaged in easy talk. It has always been gotten straight to the point. It's had the courage to tell the truth about where we were, where we are, and it has had the gumption to propose what we need to do to have excellent schools and educate our children well, uh, even when a lot of people didn't recognize that and, and didn't want to hear it. Today, 30 years later, as the economy continues to change and challenges and opportunities evolve with it, so has the Public School Forum. New focus areas have emerged including supporting beginning teachers and studying issues of race and childhood trauma and how they impact the classroom. One thing has remained constant, the forum's unwavering commitment to North Carolina's public schools and the belief that every child in North Carolina ought to have educational opportunities that prepare them to achieve at the highest levels, limited only by their imaginations.